So this is Manjaro and the latest version is 24.2. These are some other options to download. I'll be downloading and installing GNOME. So here I'm going to choose boot with open source drivers. This is the welcome menu. So there's documentation, support and project. I'll click launch installer. So here you can choose the language. I'm going to click next. This is location. This is the keyboard layout and settings. I'm going to leave it as is. So this is the petition section. So here it says select storage device. If you have more than one hard drive, you can select it here. I'm going to choose erase disk. So on this drop down tab, I'm going to select swap to file. So for the file system, I'm going to select BTRFS. This is the bootloader location. I'll leave it as default. I'll create an account. So it says login automatically without asking for the password. I'll leave that on check. I'm going to check this box. Use the same password for the administrator account. So here you can choose your office suite. There's no office suite. There's LibreOffice and FreeOffice. I'm going to select LibreOffice. This is a summary of the choices. So installation is complete. I'm going to restart the computer. I will log in. So here you can take a tour or you can skip. I'll select take a tour. So this is the dock. I'll click on show apps. These are the apps. This is accessories. So I'm going to open the layout switcher. So these are the layouts, Manjaro, traditional, Thailand, and Gnome. I'll select traditional. This is Thailand. And this is Gnome. I'm going to leave it at Manjaro. This is settings. I'll open the Lollipop app. This is web apps, and here you can create a shortcut web app. For example, Wikipedia. So the app shortcut is here. I'll open system tools, and these are some of the tools. I'll open the settings app. So there's network. I can add a VPN. I can add a proxy. This is Bluetooth. This is displays. This is the song settings. This is multitasking settings. This is the appearance settings. So these are some of the wallpapers. So there's dark mode and there's the default, which is light. I'm going to leave it at dark. And these are some of the color selections.
So these are some of the background wallpapers. So this is apps. I'll click on default apps and I can choose my default apps. This is add and remove software. So I can remove software. So I can select any one of these, for example, document scanner and I can get the app details. I can remove or reinstall the app. This is the notification settings. This is the search settings. And I can move these. This is online accounts. This is sharing. There's mouse and touchpad settings. Keyboard settings, color settings, printers, accessibilities. This privacy and security. So I can configure all of these system and devices, screen lock, location, file history and trash. I click on system. This is region and language. So the web browser is Firefox. This is the version 133.0. This is the files folder. I'll open the add and remove software app. And there's categories. This is groups. This is repositories. So on the top panel, this is the time and date. This is the calendar. On the right side, there's the power icon, speaker icon, and network icon. 
So right now the color is green and this color can be changed. I just have to right click the desktop, click on change background. I'll change that to gray. I'll change it to red. So to change the settings on the dock, I just have to right click the show apps icon, select dash to dock settings. And these are the settings. So right now the dock is at the bottom. I select left and it's on the left side. Select right, it's on the right side. I select top and it's on top. I'm going to leave it at the bottom. So on the dock size limit, I can adjust the size of the dock. So I'm going to check this box, panel mode, extend to the screen edge and the dock is extended. I can also uncheck this, place icons to the center, so it's on the left. I'm going to leave it at the center. I can adjust the icon size here. I'll open the terminal app. So I'm going to check the kernel version. I'll type uname r. So the kernel version is 6.12. So the desktop environment is GNOME. So if I want to double check on that, I just have to run this command. So it's GNOME. So to check the version of GNOME, I'll run this command. So the GNOME version is 47.2. So I'm going to run this command to check the session type. If it's x11 or Wayland, I'll run this command. So it's X11. So I'm going to see if VLC Media Player is installed. So VLC Media Player is not installed. So I'll install it. I'll type this command. So this was just a quick look of Manjaro 24.02 and this is the GNOME version, GNOME 47. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.